the difference in a nice guy versus a good guy. The nice guys, 99% of the time, their personality is fake so that they can get something that they want. You will notice common characteristics in them, saying yes all the time, being super easy. She said nice guys' characteristics like boundaries, do whatever you say, don't speak their mind, feel almost too perfect. Okay, that's the characteristic. Oh, wait, never guys. setting boundaries or speaking their mind. Even if they are not trying to get something out of you, what will happen is resentment will build up in them and they will hate you and be angry at you for them not being able to speak their mind and say what they need. A good guy. This is the type of guy that you want to go for. He is the one who is led by. She said a good guy. The characteristics. Genuine, honest, upfront, strong values, integrity, um, strong boundaries and securing himself. I don't know what who gets you get the information from, but okay. His integrity by his values and his morals. He is genuinely a good man. You will notice characteristics about him. He has no problem setting boundaries. He speaks his mind. He has self-respect and self-love. He is able to love you fully. Do not date a nice guy. Instead, choose a good guy. If you are interested in a man who is... This woman is not married. So I'm going to um, attack the argument. This woman is not married. So I don't know who this advice is for and how she came to this information she has no husband she has no boyfriend so i don't know how she's applying any of this information to herself because if you're not practicing what you preach then what are you preaching i gotta ask these women if you're not practicing what you preach then what are you preaching then and who are you preaching to because you don't have a nice man or a good man so who are you dating and what are you dating and who is like, what is going on with this woman? Like, I, I hear the advice. I hear what she's saying. But there's no man in her life. There's no husband in her life. There's no boyfriend in her life. But she's preaching beware of these type of guys and pick this type of guys. If you are going to tell women who to pick in the relationships, you should have the men that they want. Or oh, a man with the right criterias or mindset or lifestyle. She doesn't have neither. She's talking out of her ass, guys. This woman doesn't have a man. She doesn't have a husband. She don't have nobody to model this information from. But she's just telling women, these are the type of men you want. You don't have a man. You don't have a man to be modeling this image from. So you're telling women how to find a man that you haven't found yourself. How does that make sense? Why would they listen to you? Why would they follow you? You're preaching something that you don't follow. But. Women listen to other women. Like, I'm subscribed, guys. I don't got a lot to say on that one. Like, I'm subscribed because there's no point of telling women. I, women can't even tell what's a nice guy. They date always the worst, the worst, the worst, and then somehow they say they know what a nice guy is. You can't tell a good man from a bad guy. You fall for the bad guys all the time. But like, I'm subscribed, guys. Let's go to the next one. Like, I'm subscribed. Their desirability increases, thus their optionality of women is always expanding, and the exact opposite is true for black women. Mm -hmm. As we age, doesn't matter how much money we accumulate, our degrees or professional accolades. The reality is, is that our marriage and partnership market value is depreciating with every passing year. No matter how good we look, no matter how fit we are, men are still seeing primarily our presumed dwindling fertility as a knock against us. And speaking of fertility, that is another reason that I want younger black women to seek marriage and partnership in college or right after, if that's what they choose. Because the number of... Is that not what we be saying? I'm just making sure, guys. Is that not what we be saying? Like, is that not what we be saying? Like, I'm just making sure I'm not crazy, guys. That's what we be saying, right? She's repeating back what we be saying, guys. She's repeating back what we be saying. What we be saying. That's crazy of college educated black men are so low when compared to black college educated women that we're all going to be targeting the same small pool of men. And as we heard today, on most campuses, there's like seven black women students for every one black man student. Y'all do the math. So here's my advice. If you are a young black woman in college and you know in your heart and in your head that you want to prioritize family, I suggest that you simultaneously pursue that MRS degree right along with that BA or JD. Because the hand they can't do it. They can't multitask. They can't do it. If they're strong and independent, family comes the back burner. If they're family orientated, independence is not existent. So they got to pick one. Either they're going to be independent or they're going to pick the family. But they can't be both. 
they can't be an independent educated black woman and a family mom so they can't do both they got to pick one either you're gonna be a traditional woman and be focused on the family and your husband or you're gonna be independent chasing degrees out here in your career you can't be both it's hard to be both some women magically can somehow do it some women can't but that don't mean all can and most can't so they can't do it full of black college age men that actually do desire to get married soon and they do share that value system and family is a priority for them too y'all that is an incredibly small pool and it's shrinking as you get older and by the time you reach my age 40 you will be faced with different choices relating to where she said she was 43 i swear she said <laughs> i don't know i swear in other videos she said she was 43 maybe i'm tripping i swear she said she was 43. life partnership and motherhood now i'm not saying that delaying marriage or motherhood is a bad option but it's one that comes with its own consequences and our women deserve to know on the front end of their decision making the reality that needs it's a bad option ladies delaying marriage and having kids it's a bad option especially the having kids part you have you i could say this i i said this black women you can get married in your 40s and 50s it may not be the man you want but you can still get married in your 40s and 50s even your 60s people can get married it may be not a person you want and you might have to settle but you can still get married but having kids is a different conversation having kids is a different conversation even if your 20s women having kids in their 20s is still risking their life they're risking their lives on that table having kids is not an easy process you're risking your life giving birth the older you get the less strength your body has you're risking your life the older you get the less strength you have to be able to endure what you're supposed to endure within that process and your body don't function the same so yes holding off on kids is a big no-no the ring thing that's up to y'all because i would say do it earlier so you can live out your your you know your 30s and 40s celebrating with your husband your kids are grown up and stuff leave the house but it's it's no it's no and you can't be independent and strong and chasing degrees and be a mother traditional founded focus on the family you can't do both you got to pick one you got to pick a pathway a, a man can't be a stay-at-home dad and a crazy businessman he can't do both he got to pick with lane he if he's if he's a real businessman he got to be out there doing the business he can't be a stay-at-home father and be a crazy businessman it does not work he has to pick a lane women have to pick a lane y'all can't do everything you're not superman y'all can't do everything but like i'm subscribed guys i see if she retracted her words she took back what she said one minute she was saying this now she's saying what we be saying it's funny how they switch up all the time we stay consistent say this is how it's supposed to be and she's getting older she starts saying you know what these guys are right but women will still sit here and say you know these guys this is one of y'all who was just a minute ago saying all the crazy stuff now she's switching over to the guy side like i'm subscribed guys like i'm subscribed let's see um I'm, since i um hey sean i'm watching your video please let me know bro i told you on sunday i mean friday i was i could help you on friday i can't do it today today i'm doing the regular show i can't do it today i say fridays i'm at my recap show and fridays are the only day i can interact with my you know followers and i can help you with all this stuff but today i can't do it today is my show days i you know i appreciate the support i appreciate the love but fridays coming on fridays and i promise you i can do all the help thing but today is a regular show that's a trade-off yes facts that they got to pick one they got to pick one they got to pick one my guy yes true it is a trade-off they got to pick one let's go to the